If you're thinking about taking the exam or you're procrastinating, register for the exam. This will light the fire under your butt to get you motivated. One of the best resources that I purchased for studying for the exam was a $250 laptop on Amazon on Prime Day. I'll link it below. This allowed me to study where I wanted and to move into different areas of my apartment. In reality, I just moved to different locations on my dining room table, but it definitely helped me to switch seats from my work desk to my study laptop. Some people like to review the material once they learn it, but I didn't find this necessary at all because taking the practice exams reinforces the material you learned while getting you accustomed to the questions that they may ask and the format that they ask them in. I personally didn't find the need to take a full practice exam with all the breaks and stuff, but some people find this helpful. I personally think that taking a full practice exam would have burnt me out completely, and I found that building up to the eight hour exam was a healthier approach for me. This may be pretty obvious, but put your phone away and try to put it on silent when studying. If possible, try to leave it in a completely different room so you don't get distracted. If you're thinking about purchasing a study program, I would definitely ask your work or your boss if they're willing to subsidize that expense. If I had to do it all over again and my work wasn't paying for it, I would purchase a study program on my own because this gave me accountability and structure to my studying. These programs also teach you the material that you didn't learn in school or that you don't really do in your job. Studying with friends may also work for this if you don't want to shell out the money, but I can't vouch for that because I don't have friends. That's sad. A big challenge for this exam is learning when to walk away because some problems are actually designed to take you a long time to do. Understanding this and be willing to move on for one or two questions so you can spend those extra 10 or 20 or 30 minutes even on other questions making sure you got those correct. Remember, every question is worth the same exact amount of points. So it's worth getting an easy question completely right and nailing it than working your butt off to get maybe a hard question correct. Lastly, and this is probably the hardest, take an honest reflection of yourself, your study habits, and make, and most importantly, stick to a schedule. Best of luck. I hope these tips help and you got this.